What's going on, YouTube? Jersey heads. What have you? Uh, I got some things to get off your mind. Off my mind, it's your boy Dodgeball Terrace. Uh, okay, man, I got some things to say about uh, a couple things. But first of all, I want to say uh, today, man, I'm repping the hood. You know, I'm wearing the hoodie right now uh, for the family of Trayvon Martin. Uh, Rest in peace. That was some absolute bullshit. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into that right now. I'm gonna get it. What I am gonna get into though is uh, I got some comments to say about this whole uh, some you know, some of the things that are happening right now in the NFL. Okay, man. Uh, the Tim Tebow situation. Um, I'm not really even bothered about the fact that the Broncos totally proved my point with people about there is no loyalty in professional sports. There is no loyalty in professional sports. I mean, you could do this for a franchise tomorrow, and you got to remember that uh, the next day after that, I'm not even talking about today, I'm talking about tomorrow, the Next day after that day that you make a big accomplishment for them, you could be out of a job. Um, I, professional sports do, franchises do not care about players. They are, um, I guess you could say for lack of a better word, property. The, what John Elway and the Broncos did to Tim Tebow was worse than stabbing him in the back. It was the equivalent to pretending that you're someone's friend and then selling them out. Um, but more so than anything, I heard Brian Billick make the most asinine statement of all. Brian Billick said, I would not want Tim Tebow on my team because... Now the question was asked to him, would he want Tim Tebow on his team? He said, I would not want Tim Tebow on my team because... Um, his own team didn't want him, so why should I want him? And if I had the chance to talk to Mr. Billick, I would say, well, Peyton Manning's team didn't want him either. I mean, not only did they not want him, they cut him. After how many years of service? It, it would make me ask the question. I would beg to wonder, what do the Colts know that nobody else knows? They know something. Um, I don't give a damn what his doctor said. Um, you can pay a doctor to say anything you want the doctor to say if there's enough involved. But what did the doctor or what does the team know that no one else knows? I mean, that right there is what scares me. You take a guy who has been your franchise's backbone, won you a Super Bowl, took you to the Super Bowl twice when you had not gone to a Super Bowl since, ooh, wow. I mean, since the days of Earl Morrill, I think it was. Um, and you set him out. I mean, you cut him because he had an injury that you believe was a career-ending injury. What do they know that no one else knows? And so not only was it a move of disloyalty, it was a move of egregious disloyalty. Um, and I don't understand what Peyton Manning supposedly had done that was such a great feat. Listen, out of the two brothers, the one who was supposed to be the one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, being Peyton, has only won one Super Bowl at the end of the day. Eli has won two. And, mis you know, make no mistake about this, this shit is about winning Super Bowls. But more so than anything, Peyton Manning um, has really, in my book, really been a, a bit of an underachiever. So when you say that he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, then I go down the line and the listen, I start questioning, is he greater than Roger Starback? No. Do I think he's greater than Joe Montana? No. Do I think he's greater than Tom Brady? Hell no. As, plen as, 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 as well as as many times that they've met in head-to-head -head competition and Brady has whooped that ass. Um... <laughs> I don't understand why they hold him in, in, in such high esteem. 
Now, I'm not saying that Tim Tebow is perfect. I'll tell you what I am saying, though. I am saying that in recent cases, Peyton Manning has not played, and it'll be, oh, so a year and a half since the last time he played. And the last game he did play, he lost. Um, but Tim Tebow has a current record of leading the Broncos towards somewhere. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Broncos better get a little bit further than the first round or the second round of the playoffs this year because they brought this man in for that purpose because they basically thought Tim Tebow was uh, a wreck, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Um, I tend to disagree with people in their opinions about um, Tim Tebow being awful. I don't think he's a great quarterback, but I think he got the job done, and it was something that they could build on. I mean, this reminds me of one time when people were saying that Evander Holyfield was too light to be a heavyweight champion. He was a cruiserweight champion. So, I don't know. The other thing, the Saints suspensions and fines. I, I'm still kind of twisted on the fact that you're fining people, suspending people for doing things that they were already paid to do. I mean, you know, fuck the whole whole um, bounty thing. These guys get paid to hit people and hurt people. It's a hurt business. I don't get that one either. But whatever the case may be, man, um, hey man, that's just how it goes. Um, I think it's the most idiotic thing in the world. I think that, um, they put too much into it, and that's just my opinion. Um, but I also want to say that the NFL has gotten soft. It used to be a time where you could hit a quarterback. I know when I was younger, when I watched football players uh, play, I remember they used to do just the most violent things. When I played football in high school, I went to check, uh, two state championships uh, when I went to high school in Texas. You know, before I moved back to San Diego, and, I mean, Texas football is about as violent as you can get, even on the high school level. But it is what it is, you know. Um, but, yeah, those are some of the things, you know, that were on my mind. Um, you know, I would love to see Tim Tebow uh, survive in New York. And I'm going to tell you right now, if he comes back with the Jets and he beats the Broncos, all hell's going to break loose, at least. At least that's what I think, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, that's my perspective on on things. Peace to all the Jersey heads. Um, you know what I'm saying? Trayvon Martin all day. It's your boy DT. Ain't nothing but a party.